The typical signs of arthritis in small animals, dogs and cats, really changes in behavior and activity. So never, no different than, than a person. If a person hurts his or her knee, they walk differently, the way they go up and down stairs may be different. So we can see the same thing in dogs and cats. They may, we may or may not recognize that they walk differently, but certainly a patient who has a rear limb problem walks differently upstairs or maybe may not go upstairs or doesn't jump. A patient with a front limb problem usually doesn't want to go downstairs or walks very differently, he doesn't want to jump out of a car. So we manage all of that pain, whether it's front or rear limb or wherever it may be, usually in what we call multimodal manner. We take care of inflammation, we take care of spinal cord components, sometimes we take care of kind of perception of pain.